you love your mama, like this video. If you oh. like Christmas, like this video. If okay. you ain't like this video yet, he's a hater. If you know Jesus died for you, better like this video, Holly. Well, 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 what's happening, on YouTube? Welcome to Unboxing Pie. And as I promised, that special guest host, you finally got a back, especially right before the holidays. We about to do the limited edition that got put out by, y'all know, Van Lewin. I don't know how to say it correctly. Judge me later. But for the holidays, we finna try it. Where you want to start? I want to start by giving my intro. Hello, it's Emerald Chambers. Shout out, Earthly. We're back. Merry Christmas. We definitely are back. Merry Christmas. It's hopefully y'all enjoy this with y'all family. Enjoy y'all time with y'all family. All right, where you want to start? You want to go this way or this way? Um, Either way. Start this way. We're gonna start with caramel sticky bun. Ripping it out the plastic. Oh god. I'm gonna get a piece with this. I know. How you get a caramel piece and I didn't? Y'all ain't make these even. I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I already scooped mine. Alright. Caramel sticky bun. I'm gonna give this a two. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> trash, bro. It like it, the, the the crunchy poison is definitely the crunch stuff. You know, like how cinnamon stick together when it be old in the package. You know, if you get another bottle and it don't shake up, it's it's expired. Um, ain't nothing sticky about it. It's trash. I just gotta be honest. Well, I'm gonna give it a, a seven because it's getting a seven. A seven. Yeah, I like seven. So, um, I'm gonna give it a seven because you know what it's tasting like. You ever ate a pinwheel? It's an old school thing. Not the not the ones that they make now on Pinterest, but the cinnamon pinwheels with the little nuts. That's what it's giving me the ice cream. This definitely not. What's supposed to be a hard texture? If you're eating cinnamon rolls like this, stay out the kitchen. I just gotta let you know. Alright, next we're gonna do the kettle corn. Um, I mean, y'all package look dope. Yeah. Looking like it might got something crunchy in here. Yeah. Oh, well, if I can get it open. Bet you they won't lick the top of that ice cream. <laughs> okay, so he did it. <laughs> Sometimes you got to do that. Don't let nobody tell you can't use your teeth to open these things. They not the best. Okay? Oh, this this got like honey or syrup coming out of it. it might, might be that boy. Might be that boy. Mm -hmm. See the size of it? Oh, it's butter. <laughs> it smells like butter. <laughs> Crazy, I actually like this one. Yeah, this one better than the last one. Better than the last one. I'm gonna give this a nine. Mm. Not a yeah, nine. I'm gonna give it a seven. A seven. So, why are we eating kettle corn? It's what, the holidays. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Now, it's a classic for me. I don't know if it's a classic for nobody else, but. My favorite Christmas movie is The Preacher's Wife. They got Whitney Houston, Denzel, Courtney Lawn. You know, that's Angela Bassett's husband. You talking about with um Denzel Washington in it? Mm-hmm. That wasn't a bad movie. Yes, my favorite Christmas movie is uh, like a Christmas miracle movie where Dudley, which is Denzel Washington, just drops him off the sky and he's an angel. He's trying to help everybody. Yeah, and he ends up falling in love with Whitney Houston. I'm gonna say my favorite. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna say my favorite Christmas movie got to be Home Alone. Which one? Lost in New York. Okay. The Wet Bandits. Harry. <laughs> he was getting beat up. Okay. I remember he got on that little thing and he was pulling on a little rope trying to climb on a building. And he said, "Hey, Harry, why does this smell like gas?" <laughs> and a dude had put all the kerosene on there and set him on fire straight up to the earth. I'm gonna say that was my favorite Christmas. All 
Alright, right, we're gonna move on from the kettle corn. And we're gonna move on to the mac and cheese. Yes, I've tried this, but they put it back out with this selective menu. So we're gonna try it again. I'm not excited about it. Look at this looking like Velveeta. Cold that's Velveeta. That's that crab, bro. They, maybe they remixed the flavor. Now nah, it still smell like cheese. Oh, <laughs> I on, think bro. I'm good. I think, I think I'm past. Nah, you got this. Get you a scoop of that. So you gonna try to get a small one? Nah, bro, you gotta get a big scoop. Nah, bro. This one was just in the face. Alright, okay. ready? It's still a four for me, even though it's probably been about over a year since I tried it. It's still a four. If you like mac and cheese and want to try this, this is the time to do it. Um, yeah, this ain't like the good crab mac and cheese, okay? Um, it's more like a cheese packet. Y'all ever used a cheese packet and didn't put enough water in your noodles when you had to make the hamburger helper and it like, it got chunky and sticky? That kind of what the vibe is, you heard? <laughs> Get it out of here. Um, <laughs> it's not giving macaroni and cheese too bad. It's giving cheese at first, but it's more like milk. I agree with it. Yeah, so it's more milk towards the end. It tastes like cheese at first, but not strong. It didn't make me want to spit it out. So well, it's that bad. she ain't got much room to run, so anything she got, she got to keep. <laughs> we got a peppermint stick up next. So, yeah, back to Christmas. What's your favorite Christmas song? You got a favorite Christmas song? I don't think I really do. Nah, I lie. Um... If y'all ever seen that movie, I can't think of it to save my life right now. Uh, Chris Brown sing This Is Christmas. This Christmas. Oh, yeah, This Christmas. He sung that Christmas song. I like his version of it, but I don't really have a Christmas themed song. But I'm going to say, oh, I got mac and cheese on it. I'll be right back. Yeah, so as he's doing that, you know, I have a favorite Christmas song. I think I got a whole bunch, but we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it cute. So my favorite Christmas song is What Do the Long Nights Do at Christmas? I don't think I've ever heard that. Oh man, it's real good. Let me get this too. Oh, gotta get a little crunch. If the crunch is not crunching, if it's a peppermint stick, if it's not Right, crunching. I feel like I need a little, a little something on the side. <gasps> to get a little bit of that on there. Yes, I'll be double dipping. This is my ice cream though. Mm. Alright, you ready? Don't it taste like mint chocolate chip from Bluebell? I feel like it's pretty close to that. I'm gonna give it a five for imitation. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven. I like it. But does it not taste like that? Kind of tastes like the mint chocolate chip from Bluebell, right? Well, mint chocolate chip got a a, a stronger um cooling flavor. Yeah. So this one is kind of cool with the ice cream. But I like this one. I like this one better than the mint chocolate chip. So, but if you're going for that vibe, then yeah. You could try that. That probably. There's no crunchy pizzas, you guys. Yeah, they had no candy cane pizzas in there. You ain't had no syrup in there. I don't know what the little little stuff on the side was, but it definitely wasn't nothing crunchy about it. Okay. I like that one. We're gonna move over to the deal pick room. Why well, I'm getting this open, right? If you got a box with everything you lost in. What's the first thing you're going to look for? Uh, probably my mind. Maybe I lost my mind. <laughs> if, I lost, if I lost my mind, I'm probably going to be looking for my mind. That's what I'm saying. If it was this, if this was a metaphorical box, and I lost something that was uh, important to me, I'm probably going to be looking for my mind first, apparently. Listen, I'm going back and looking for all them dollars my Uncle Kurt said he gave me that I could not keep up with. I'm going to need all them back, killer. I got stuff to do, okay? If I had a box of everything I lost, that's what I'm going to need first. Um, I'm going to need my bike, the mayo stole. Um, I'm trying to see what else I need out of there right quick. I feel like I'm going back over my whole life. Yeah, I'm going to need them Yu-Gi-Oh cards that AJ stole from me when we was in the bathroom trading cards. Lo 
you the death killer. Still need them back. Um, I'm gonna need my shoes back that y'all stole when we was at the pool in Mossville, and See, I left my J's out. I'm gonna really need them back. I really only wore them twice. You heard? And my mama was mad about that. <laughs> Metaphorically, if, if you put everything you ever lost in a box, what's the first thing you're going to look for? I need a couple of things, bro. Yeah, I'm going to need my mind first, for sure. And then I can remember the couple of things you, that I you had. You can keep mine, already. feeling. Some of that I don't really care about, you know what I mean? I'm already off the wagon, so I ain't trying to get back on the wagon. <laughs> you ready to right. try this? Yeah, because I got a little piece of this uh, dill pickle-ish, like, thing. It smell weird, and it's like it got it whipped through it, like... I don't know, frozen pickle something. All right, let's go. Hold it down, girl. Hold it down. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a negative. You know what? You disgusting. That's a negative. This is a pregnant girl's dream. Oh, facts, probably. Oh, God. This will be a pregnant girl's dream. And you know what's so crazy about it? Is the pickle still got that little twang to it, so it's still giving pickle. Man, they literally whip the ice cream, pour pickle juice on top, and whip the ice, like, nah, man. Yes, we're going to give it a seven. I'm going to give that a negative two. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. Ain't no deal on this side, okay? Inventive. So I give thinking. you okay, a Boy, good okay thinking. for inventing that, because a lot of people don't do good swirls. It was a good swirl. But not the right flavor. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. Not worth it. Pregnant girl's dream. Okay, so the next one that we have is holiday cookies and cream. Now listen, if it's anything like regular cookies and cream, I like it. What's your favorite ice cream? I'm gonna have to say Hagen Dazs caramel cone. <laughs> Don't be hating, bro. No, I'm just looking at the ice cream like, huh? Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. It looked like it's been flipped upside down. No, it's got green in it. Yeah, she one of them holidays. That them mint cookies they put on your pillow at the uh, hotels. You got a little mint in them. But I like Hagen Dazs uh, caramel corn ice cream. I'm telling you, like it just like it got that perfect like setting to it, like ratio of a crunch, a bite, and ice cream, and the swirl in it. I swear to God, Hagen Dazs. Tell me what you on. I, I think I put you on in it. I put them on to it because they was on sale at Walgreens. Hmm. Yes. You might have, you might have, I'm going to give it that, but listen, now I fell in love with the Now, when you go back into that box, go, go find that thought when you nah, go back into that box. We put that one outside. It's not in the box. Okay, so, um, yeah, my favorite ice cream is that too, Hagen Dazs Caramel Cone, any type of caramel cone. I like that crunch. Me too, like, I feel like they do a good job with the ratio of it. You know, like, a lot of people mm -hmm. try ice creams, and one is overpowering the other. It's never even. When you eat Hagen Dazs. They perfect all the time. I ain't never had a bad one. And I like Briar's Cookies and Cream. Because they got a lot of cookies in their cookies and cream. And oh, that's what I really like just them. be wanting. is like a frozen Oreo, clearly. But, yeah. See, it's holiday time. It's time to start making them fried Oreos. I need to get on it. Yeah, he better get on it. Because that's his thing, you know? Let's see. Why you took all the green pieces? I took the cookie part. Because <laughs> I need to be testing the cookie part. Y'all say cookies and cream. I need the cookie. All right. Let's be ready. cookies and cream with food coloring and sprinkles in it. It's definitely normal cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to say we got Rob. <gasps> so I'm going to give it a one. I'm going to say seven. Sure, wait. One more thing to seven. We're going to have problems. It got green in it. And it's cookies and cream. That's kind of my thing. Let me get that green part see if it's something else. Yeah. Now, I think that's the food color. I was hoping that'd be like mint or something. And what he's saying, he's feeling the same. Is it got that crunch? I give you that. It does have a crunch to it. The cookies got that crunch and that swirl. It's probably icing. And you know, once icing get hard, it got that little crunch. I can give him that. That's probably what I thought the sprinkles was. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna still give it a one. Yeah, I like seven. Cause it wasn't. It wasn't what it was supposed to be. All right, so we're going to move on to the next one, which I'm loving this color. Y'all seeing this color is looking like periwinkle blue. We like that. This is uh, 
peanut butter fudge pretzel. I thought this was gonna be some caramel fudge pretzel, something like that. Did you say Probably peanut butter? Probably the worst one out of the group, bro. At least that one tore different. Why has it got a clip? Why ain't got a clip package on? Oh, we even got set up. Wait a minute. Somebody probably lick this one. Y'all see? Y'all see y'all? What y'all done caused around here? We got to put this on everything because old bro was in there licking the ice creams in the stores. Yeah, that ain't sealed all the way tight. That one got some air, air in with it. it. Yeah, We're watching y'all at the factory. Mm-hmm. All right, let's try this. I'm going to dig right in because I feel something crunching right here. Got to get it. Hey, wait a minute. That was like a piece of free. You must take the whole piece. See if I can give me a little something. Okay, they got the press on the back. Oh god. I'm not a fan of peanut butter, you guys. Facts. I ain't liking it. I don't like peanut butter. I don't know why people eat it. And it got about 30 to 100 insects in it. Y'all be eating bugs. I just wanna let y'all know if y'all be eating that peanut butter, y'all really be eating bugs on the low. Why so dry? Why is it dry though? And it say creamy on the box or on the jar, so to speak. If you spread that peanut butter on that bread and then it start breaking, your tongue probably going to be broke like yeah. that too. You're going to be looking like how those dogs be doing whenever they eat grass. Yeah, if y'all eat peanut butter, y'all got a cat tongue. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was gonna give it a five. The pretzel was actually decent. Um, if you like peanut butter, try it. I wouldn't eat this to save my life. But the pretzel actually gave it like a cold crunch. But um, yeah, it was alright. Um, underwhelmed. Yeah, I don't think it was all that great. Uh, once you start biting down on that pretzel, it just start getting all gritty and stuff. I agree with that. It definitely did get a little greedy. If it ain't getting a seven, then um, it ain't getting a rate. Nah, I wouldn't give it nothing. And then this ice cream says, a life without anything good is bad. Yeah. I think it was a good lineup for the French ice cream and the limited editions they keep putting out. But um, I'm going to have to still say that kettle corn is probably the best out. Yeah, that was the best. The kettle corn, that was the good one. And then, uh, no, nah, that's the I like the trash. peppermint. Yeah, the peppermint. And then... Nah, if you want that deal, you can have that deal. Yeah, uh, it's, it, it's okay. It was not good. Um, Get a corner best. One last question. What's your favorite thing about Christmas or the Christmas holiday? I would say it would have to be everybody getting together because it's like always been like a big thing for my mother. So like getting a stack like presents up her wall like we do most years when we all pile up into her house and see her get like happy, smiley and everything. I felt like that's like the biggest thing for me to like see the smiles on everybody's faces and get excited. And I don't give rap nothing. I I'm gonna let you know right now I don't. So I always do a game as like yo, you want a big present first or not? So I'll be walking out the room with like dealer bags or whatever. Pardon me for me. I don't give rap. Drop down in the comment if you don't give rap. I'm gonna need a soldier on my team this year because I'm always judged for it. But I think it's getting the family together and seeing everybody smile while they open everything. I like to open mine's last because I like to watch everybody do their thing. I don't like to open prisons while everybody open. Reaction just like, you shocked. Like, you know, like I want to see that good feel. You know, I just want to see you be happy and enjoy the moment. I don't care if you thought it was a 300 or a $100 gift. I'm not like that for Christmas. But that's my part. Yeah, um. My favorite part, yeah. Smile every time. And then, you know, people have some type of, like, it's like a, a type of certain compassion around the holidays. It's like they'll pay it forward all of a sudden. You mean Starbucks? You ain't got to pay for your coffee. You be like, somebody else pay for it. Facts. You a know? lot of stuff does happen around the holidays where people do a lot of good things. And, you know, people pay it forward in a lot of situations. So, for those people out there, thank you. Because not everybody wants to pay it forward in life. I know. And then if that's the Christmas spirit, then y'all might as well keep it up year round. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I love to pull up and get my coffee for free. Yes, uh, pay for this, pay for that. You know, we can make each other's life like a little better whenever we're a little bit more compassionate. So shout out to everybody that's in the holidays. And don't forget to drop your favorite holiday movie down in the comments or your favorite Christmas movie down in the comments.
And if you ain't like this video, then why you watched it? Chris like me. Facts. <laughs> we gonna holler. See y'all next week. Bye, y'all. Before I go, Holly, if you've seen this, I love you.